Service Transition verifies whether new or changed services, which are ready for customer release, meet functional and technical criteria. The purpose of Service Transition is to ensure new or modified services meet the business expectations documented in the service strategy and service design stages of the life cycle. Service Transition also helps move services from design to operation without affecting ongoing services. Objectives the objective of service transition is to plan and manage changes in service changes effectively, manage risk associated with new or modified services, deploy service releases into supported environments successfully, set the correct expectations on performance and use of new or changed services, and provide quality information on services and service assets. Effective service transition can significantly improve a service provider's ability to handle effectively high volumes of change and releases across its customer base. Other benefits include increased success rate of changes and releases, accurate estimations of service levels and warranties, and less variation of costs and other resources against those estimated in budgets. Scope the scope of service transition includes the development and improvement of capabilities for the transition of new and modified services into supported environments and service retirement and transfer of services from one service provider to another. Value to business. Effective service transition ensures that the new or changed services are better aligned with the customer's business operation. Service transition adds value to the business in the following ways. The business develops the capacity to respond quickly and adequately to changes in the market. Changes in the business are well managed. The business experiences higher number of successful changes and releases. There is better compliance to business and governing rules. There is less deviation between planned budgets and actual costs. There is better insight into risks that may occur during and after the input of a service. In the next screen. We will discuss Configuration Item, or CI. A Configuration Item, or CI, is any component that has to be managed for delivering an IT service. Information about each CI is recorded in a configuration record within the Configuration Management System, or CMS. The record is maintained throughout its lifecycle with Configuration Management. The record should include a unique identifier and the location of the CI. CIs can be IT services, hardware, software, buildings, people, or formal documentation, such as process documentation and service level agreements. CIs are controlled by configuration management and are subject to formal change control. In the next screen, we will focus on the Configuration Management System, or CMS. A CMS is a set of tools and databases that are used to manage the configuration data of an IT service provider. The CMS stores information about all configuration items. The CI may be an entire service or any component stored in one or more configuration management databases. The CMS includes information about incidents, problems, known errors, changes and releases, and data on employees, suppliers, locations, business units, customers, and users. The CMS stores attributes or any other required information about the CI. It also stores the relationships between CIs, CIs and incident and change records. The CMS has multiple layers, including data sources and tools, information integration, knowledge processing tools such as scorecards, dashboards, and presentations. The tools included in the CMS help to collect, store, manage, update, and present data about all configuration items and their relationships. The CMS is maintained by Configuration Management and is used by all ITSM processes. CMS comprises physical data stores, which can be integrated together. Let us consider a server to be a CI. The CMS will have data related to that server, including incidents, problems, owner, supplier, location, 
business processes the server supports, and so on. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.